Hello, my name's Neil Benison and I'm the Classical Music Programmer for B Music. I just wanted to tell you about a very exciting first visit by the orchestra that everyone's talking about, the Symphony of London. So what's all the fuss about? Well, this orchestra has actually only existed in its current form for about four years, when John Wilson recreated a very famous recording orchestra from the 1950s. John's vision was to create a kind of super orchestra made up of leading UK and international players, principals from great orchestras that could come together and make recordings that would be as close to perfection as you could get. And you have to say that the result has been absolutely spectacular. These recordings have been getting wall-to-wall -wall five star reviews, uh, praise across the board, and they've become absolutely essential recordings in the kind of classical catalogue. In fact, the achievement of this orchestra has been so great that it's actually notched up an unprecedented hat-trick of wins in the BBC Music Magazine Awards. The orchestra is expected to be brilliant in whatever it does. That's how good it is. And recently, the orchestra has started giving live performances and it's given two really, really acclaimed proms performances. The first prom that it gave in 2021 when the country was coming out of lockdown was this very memorable performance of music from Vienna across the ages. It got wall-to-wall -wall five-star reviews. It really, really announced the orchestra as a real force in the orchestral world. So this autumn, the Symphony of London is making its first UK tour. It's only going to four venues outside London and Symphony Hall is one of them. And they put together a programme that absolutely showcases what this orchestra is about. It's all about virtuosity, colour, brilliance of execution, and it features really, really popular pieces in it. So we've got Debussy's La Mer, we have Ravel's Bolero, and we have Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. And this is going to be performed by Martin James Bartlett, who was the BBC Young Musician winner in 2014. If you were in search of the hottest ticket this autumn, then this one is it. No ifs, no buts, this is the concert you should come and see.